Hey what's going on guys, today I'm bringing you the top 5 JavaScript books that every front-end web developer should read. So let's start with the first one and one of my favorites, this one in here, JavaScript and jQuery from John Duquette. I actually like this book so much that I even have the hard cover and the soft cover. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is really a great book, uh, it's not... Uh, completely updated at the moment because they they don't cover like all the new ES6 syntax and all these arrow functions and all these kind of things but it's a great book to get started with JavaScript because they have so many examples I'm gonna try to show you in here something they have like loads of different images it makes like the the book to not be very boring they have loads of examples and solutions it's just like visually appealing this book and if you check let me just go in here quickly on um, on my desktop to show you so as you can see in here look I bought this book first of all on the 12th of May of 2015 it was a long time ago when I was starting to learn some JavaScript and uh, it's st still today if you check if you check uh, all the reviews that they have in here most of the people in here they say it's an amazing book and it's quite cheap price if you check in here in here is like uh, uh, 26.50 this is pounds so it's going to be similar to to dollars but definitely you guys should check this book in here if you even if you get it like used i think this is like a great way for you to start all right so going into the second book i would recommend javascript in easy steps uh, so this book in here, um, I have actually one of these books, um, but this one is for C programming. I'm going to show you in here on my desktop now, the one for JavaScript. But they have this kind of series um, that they are so easy to get into. For example, if you feel like it's really hard for you to understand JavaScript or any programming language at all, let me just show you in here. So these JavaScript in easy steps, look at this, they have all these in here, look, HTML5, jQuery, CSS3, uh, they are really, really cheap, so they don't go too much in depth. Let me just click in here and see if they can see, show you something. This is some of the examples. The book is really simple, straight to the point, with some easy examples. And I think if you are someone who is struggling to learn with JavaScript, this can be a, actually a good option. It's very, very cheap. Look at this, $7.99 and also used. If you, uh, this is something that I recommend, go through the, the used books because most of the times you don't need to buy a completely new book. Okay, you are just like spending too much money for nothing. Maybe if you buy these kind of used books, you can buy many of them instead of just one. So yeah, this is another book that you can start out this JavaScript in easy steps. All right, so going to the third book, and this one is quite popular. Probably you have heard about it, and it's called JavaScript, the good part. This book is not really updated at the moment, so it doesn't cover all the latest syntax of JavaScript but it teaches you all the core of this programming language, JavaScript. You will learn so many different things that it doesn't cover in many other places. You will know the ins and outs of the programming language. So let me just show you in here. In here, as you can see, look at this. It has a lot of good reviews. And basically, if you get this book, look in here, it's $13.98. And also, look, if you buy used, this is something that I recommend. They have something from 0 0.53 cents. <laughs> you should really just give it a try if you want to become a better developer, a better JavaScript developer. And, you know, if you are a front-end web developer, JavaScript is a must. You need to know this language well if you want to become a better developer. And this is one of the books that will really help you understand the fundamentals and the core of JavaScript. Alright, let's go to the fourth book now and it's the Eloquent JavaScript. It's by far one of my favorite books. I'm just going to show you in here quickly. So this book in here, it goes already on the third edition and this book in here is very technical but it's also really good. I'm going to show you, this book in here is available for free online, okay? This is the link. 
eloquentjavascript.net. So they provide this. This is the latest edition. Uh, it's completely free that you can watch. You can check it in here online. You can even download it for your uh, Kindle if you have one. And they cover really everything, even to the latest JavaScript, ES6, Arrow functions, asynchronous programming, everything is in here. And look, one of the things that I like the most is that they don't teach you just, you can click in here and check all the different parts of the book completely for free. Like I said, this is the link, eloquentjavascript.net. They cover things like, for example, HTML canvas, look, project, a platform game. Look, this is, they teach you how to build a game with JavaScript and HTML5. They cover, for, for example, in here, the basics of Node.js as well. There is so many different things. I really, really love this book. I don't have it in, uh, yet, but I'm going to buy it because this is one of the things that uh, I, I think. And it's like, if you really love something and you can afford, you know, to support the people who um, created this book, you should do it. All right, so let's go to the fifth and final book. It's not going to be just one book. It's going to be a series of them, but probably you have heard about it. It's called You Don't Know JavaScript. All right, guys, so as you can see in here, this is a series of six books. And basically in here, they cover in every single book a different topic. For example, in here we have scope and closures. In here we got these object and prototypes. We got async performance, ES6 and beyond. And the good thing in here is that they cover each of the topics really in depth. So you, you just have to buy the books that you want. For example, if you really like all of them, you're going to spend like $60 or something like that. For the knowledge that you get, I think this is really amazing. Or you can basically just like select one of them, buy, see if you like it. And um, and basically then you, you can take it from there. But look, for example, I'm clicking in one of these books. If you buy used, this is something that I recommend buy used books because they will be like sometimes even half of the price or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is another great series of books that I really recommend if you want to become a better developer. And let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Most of the times nowadays is really popular, really popular for people to learn JavaScript web development just from videos. But I'm going to make a separate video on this. But just to tell you in here is that uh, learning from books, sometimes the books cover so much more things, so much more things than the actual videos usually cover. Because when people, they are shooting videos, they don't want to make the videos too long to, to not make people bored or anything. And they don't cover sometimes everything that you should know. And in these kind of books, most of the times they have all, all the content in there, all the knowledge. And you can just like skip through and go to the parts that you want, or you can read all of it. Okay. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you, you like these kind of books in here. I'm going to put the links in the description in here if you want to check them out. Um, and that's it, you know, just buy one of these books or, or buy all of them is really up to you. But if you want to become a better developer, better JavaScript developer, I really recommend to read at least some of these books. All right, guys. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if this is your first video and I'll see you in the next one.